friends in this video we are going to see how to configure email setting so that whenever any document is submitted in dspace or whenever any error is encountered or something happens in dspace so it triggers email and sends the information to the administrator or to the submitter so let's see how we can do this in this video in detail in this video i am going to show you how to configure email so that whenever you make any user registers gets email or any user can register from outside and can also submit the document or you can authorize a person in your repository to submit the item to the collection so before you start the process of adding the collection means item to collection you need to configure the email setting so I am going to demonstrate where to make some changes you can see here you have to locate your first the directory of D space so in my case it is in OPT folder so I go to D space and there I find one config folder so here you can see there is a is file dspace.cfg and this is the main file you need to open this and now you have to be very careful you don't have to make the changes unless or until it is required this is my installation directory if I had taken some other means uh, directory then I would have to I have to change the directory here and uh, below that you can change your repository name so in my case I have given welcome to my institute repository and if you come down here is your email setting which you have to modify if you are using SMTP server then you have to enter smtp.gmail.com then you have to give your username and password and then you have to enter your password username and password here by default the port of smtpgmail.com is 465 and then you have to add all the address means at all the places you have to add where you want to receive the mail in which ID so you can modify accordingly gmail.com likewise I just copy this so for example I make changes here currently limited to one recipient site administration I change here alert I change here so you can modify the email ID and after that you have to make some changes at the mail extra properties by default it is you will get the hash or star symbol hash symbol it is kept in disable mode so you have to remove all the hashes before this and then finally save it after saving after saving what you have to do you have to go to your tomcat uh, and restart it so my tomcat is also in opt folder so I go there and I go to bin directory and here I can first shut down and I when I hit enter it will shut down and again I have to start start dot ss I'm not doing it because it will take time 
startup not start startup dot sh so when i press enter it will start the tomcat server and after starting the tomcat server you have to go to the page of d space and now i have to register one user so what i do i go to sign on to and here new user click here to register so suppose i have to register for example dpt i'll take some other honey solution at gmail.com and click on register so what it will do it will directly register and it will send me a one confirmation mail to my email id so after receiving the email id i have to activate that email you can see here that i have received one d space account registration through this email id and now i have to click on this link so here it is asking me to fill up the detail and then i'll enter all my contact detail you see here and i'll add the password and click on complete registration so when i click on complete registration it has confirm that i have registered and now if i go and log in with that email id honey solution at gmail.com and the password which i have given you can see that i am able to log in but you can notice one thing that i am not a privileged user i am not getting any admin privilege only i have been added as an user and i can log in and i can see the um, is uh, content and also i can be play the role of submitter subject to the addition of my email id in the group as we created in the previous video if i if the administrator adds my this account in the group i will be able to submit the document to this repository so hope i have been able to make you understand how to configure the email in d space in next video we are going to see some additional configuration in d space d space which are very useful so thanks for watching this video stay with librarian guide for more videos thanks once again